Do you know what I like when I'm trying to record something? Is when it runs out of memory. I am Opal Saz, and you have missed about 12 hours worth of stuff. I skipped most of the construction stuff in part one because you don't want to see me spending half an hour building a prison. So, let me quick do a quick, quick rundown about what I've done and how it's got set out. So, as you can see, the cell blocks are now all in. We've got the common room, solitary, with its solitary door. We also have the drains. It's the drain shower room, rather. <laughs> got a cleaning cupboard. I'd be put the, all the electrical utility stuff in this room, protected by a staff door. We have the kitchen here. We have a canteen. We have this little corridor. And over here, we have the warden, which unlocks the bureaucracy, which allows you to research bits and pieces, like at the moment I'm researching security. Because it stopped recording, you missed me researching mental health, which is quite cool, because basically, it allows you to get this guy, the psychologist, and which allows you to see the needs of your individual prisoners. We've got eight brand new inmates enjoying my company for several years. So they better get comfortable. So quickly going through, we've got Jengenev the Viking Vladimir. I'm not going to read these things out like I did last time. You can pause and have a look at the self. That's long enough. We've got Patrick Patar, Chap Delen. My favourite one of them a lot. And I actually searched him just before the video actually cut out on recording. It was brilliant. He he had, he, I searched him for contraband, which is like knives, keys, etc. And I found a wooden spoon. Not kidding, I found a wooden spoon. We've got Tom Brindley, Paul Stubbs, Christopher Shopland, Benjamin Curtis, Richard Smith. Oh, that's Patty Cakes. Oh, Patty Cakes over there again. Here we go, little Patty Cakes. My favourite one. Well, second favourite. So anyway, as you can see, we've got a fog of war problem, which is going to be an issue. Because fog of war is basically if you don't have a guard or someone looking at every point, it's just are they might try and do stuff illegally. As you can see right now, they're just grabbing their food. I'll show you again. This is where you unlock when you have the warden. You get the regime, which allows you to assign time by doing this, by clicking on these, clicking there. It also tells you how much they cost you a day to feed and look after. Also, as I said, the meal quality, meal variety, the timetable. And uh, trying to think what else I'd forgotten. Well, the trash can. There goes the trash. And uh, what is anything else I might have forgotten? Oh yeah, I'm unlocking security, which allows me to hire the security warden, which will allow me to research even more advanced pieces, bits and pieces of equipment, like deployment, which is what I really want, because that allow me to. to uh, deploy guards where I want them to go rather than waiting them to go there. I'm not just like keeping a close eye on these guys in case one of them flashes an object. That's a clue that you get they have contraband, they flash a knife or something. I feel like searching the... let's have a random on the spot search. Let's search Paul Stubbs. You're in guard. One of you get over there please. Anyone? Why, why do you even need to guard the deliveries? What are you worried about being... what are you worried about? I don't get this game sometimes, it's like, nope, we're going to make sure nothing happens here. Oh, I've hired the chief. We need to put stuff in his room now. In his open space office here. We're just going to hope that no one decides to try and bust out, try and bust and kill the uh, guys, because they can pretty much take out the entire hierarchy if we're not careful. I also need the filing cabinet. Final cabinet there. No, don't put the final cabinet there. It's an irritating place. OCD attack. Put it there. Seriously, why are all three of you there? Well, we know these guys could be up to something in the hours it takes them to eat. Then they get yard time, which is pumping weight, pumping that muscle. You gotta pump it up. Also, a very good thing. Put a jail door between you and the their area, otherwise they might decide to steal knives, which is always a problem. Anyway, let's set up, let's research deployment, because that's what I want. Let's say get in there and open the blooming doors for people. Now we've just got to hope that nothing bad happens. Also, you've got two buttons, lockdown, which locks every single door in the prison. And bang up, which send all prisoners back to their cells, which is also quite nice to know. 
So basically, if you have a problem with one inmate, you can just do that to lock everyone down so you can just deal with that one inmate and not have to worry about random stabbings. Let's search the Viking. Let's search Patar. I don't trust him after finding that spoon. Well, we know he could be hiding another spoon. What's the bigger thing you have to get contraband quickly if they find anything? Any spoons? Don't want to be dangerous? Nope, he's clean. Okay, now it's yard time. Everyone gets to go to the yard and enjoy themselves. I'm going to actually hire a couple more guards. There we go. And now everyone's in the yard. They need to figure out what they want to do. There's a plenty of room for you to run around NB. You won't be able to run away. He's exercising by running around. Okay. Phone family. Wait, you got plenty of payphones. Take your pick. You're playing pay phones, take your pick about which one you want to phone for. What are you up to? I don't trust you. Then again, I don't trust half these prisoners. I don't trust him. Wait, God's sake, get in there, you blooming idiots. Honestly. There's like, I have like five guards, you're just standing around doing nothing. Let's see, what does Stubbs got on him? It's always good to conduct routine searches, just in case they have something dangerous on them. Oh, 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 please for the auto-saving feature. Anything? Nope, he's clean. That's good. So what's after yard time is cell time. So I'll just go see. Might as well just start working on one of these. I might start the contract administration centre. Just get some extra money into the bank. For God's sake, stay in the bloomin' yard. One guy cannot handle nine, eight people. Oh, that's so irritating. Oh well, say let be. I mean, I think. I mean, come on. Right, it should be hitting the hour. I just don't think this thing is. Let's try opening us up. I'm very confident, actually, of what my place is like. So I'm going to accept a high risk. Oh, it's saying it wants to. It, it only could do it in factors of eight. I forgot. So, yeah, we've got to quickly build a, a big, a big area for them. So let's quickly get to work on that, boys. I'm going to do that. I'm going to a large ass door. No. I can't. Because due to OCD attacks, we must do a small ass doors here and here. Hurry up, guys. Get to work. Also, I need to make, put enough capacitor or two in just to keep power. Let's see. That's. Oh, he's cleaning something. Let's see. What are these guys up to? It's like the boring part gets the boring part of the game. It's like waiting for stuff to happen. Shit or bad stuff to go down. So it's the smive from our Smith. Anything? Nope. Okay, in which case we just got, uh, I think we have to search Shopland. Just like search every prisoner to keep us entertained. We better hurry up, we've only got about 15 hours to put the entire cell block together. He's clean. You know what? Looking at this, they have far, far too much spare time. They have too much yard time. I'm gonna take out that free time there. They can say they can handle three hours. Oh poo. Yeah, quickly put those doors in, please. The last thing we want is them getting any bright ideas. They're trying to escape. Okay, they're now heading back to the cell. You're going with them. God damn it, we're gonna have someone looking after those prisoners. Well, that's the only cell which is not got anything to do. Just keep an eye on them. They're standing there. What are you doing? Opening a locked door. Why? Why are you letting him out? 
It's his cell. Why are you opening the door for him? We've got a corrupt person here. This all about me that the cells are just slightly too small, sticky like keep saying. I want to go to my this part of the cell, which means opening the door. I see you're tired. What do you have? A bed. You are by your bed. Go to your bed. Uh, honestly, some people. You're right by your bed, so use your bed. Start laying out the extra bits in here. And that should be a good second part. There we go. What are they trying to do? Oh, they're trying to figure out how to put that down. <laughs> Cute. Uh, I suppose no one's actually got needs to be put in solitary yet. Sake. Put the pipe wire, put that in. And that building should be done. There we go. Hold the new cell block. Which is going to look awesome. So let's start by putting two by three cells in. I'll quickly just do this bit before we leave. Because I think I've hit my ten minute marker, but I just want to quickly do this before my OCD tells me, no, you haven't done this properly. There you go, just enough room. That. And we're going to make sure we have a lot of solitary near here. Let's see, if that's the wall, we want to free space. Like so. There you go, we've got the solitary area. That's this is that's cell block A, this is cell block B. B for behave or you get killed. Let's make this one a nicer one. Let's make this like a the solitary for the decent folk. Like the one who's not been a complete dull jack wagon recently. Oh bug, I miscounted. That's gonna be a pain. Oh well, we'll just have to desynchronize that room. I hate it when I miscount stuff. There, 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 and there. Perfect. Wish these guys would hurry up and Jesus that's a lot of lights. I keep forgetting how many lights this place takes. They can handle three hours, can't they? Yeah. It's seven. They can handle a bit more time and a row in the hole. We probably don't need much stuff to do. But until something interesting happens, I'm over as I'll see you guys next time. As soon as I can get to figure out how to get this within ten minutes without me sounding boring.